if you're wondering how to create an Instagram reel transition like this, where you are changing locations, maybe on two completely different days, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and how to create a transition like this. Also, I just came out with a new free download on 10 Instagram Reels ideas that you can make today. So if you want that, there's a link down below and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So I've got my phone right here on my smartphone tripod and I um, love this thing. So we will be sure to link the smartphone tripod down below if you want to grab it for yourself, but really any tripod like this will work. And I am just going to go ahead and set it up. So the first location that we are at right now is just in front of this blank wall. I actually had a picture on the wall, but I went ahead and took it down just for this because I want you guys to see how we can change locations. And the idea behind this is that I'm going to snap and then I'm going to change to a completely different location. And again, this is something you can do. It doesn't have to be on the same day. It could be like two weeks later, you pull this back up and finish this transition. And I recommend filming it inside the Instagram Reels app if at all possible. So that's what I have right now. So I'm just going to put it right about here. And I went ahead and put a filter on here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is hit the little timer button in the bottom left hand corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to maybe like five seconds, just to, but you can drag it to however long you want. That's just how long it's going to film. And it's gonna count down once it starts or when it's gonna start filming. So I'm gonna go ahead and film the first part. And again, I'm just gonna be in front of this wall doing something and then I'll snap. And the idea is when I snap, I'm gonna change to a new spot. So. Let me go ahead and film it. <laughs> okay, so that first part is filmed and I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it. I, I prefer when I'm doing a transition like this to make sure I leave room after I snap because it's gonna make your editing life way easier and you wanna make sure you get that complete snap so you can get it on the right timing. So, okay, so now that we have this, let's just pretend that I'm gonna plan to come back to this another day. Like I'm not gonna finish filming it today. Even though I'm going to, just to show you, it's gonna work the exact same way if I was gonna come and do this a different day. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done here. I'm gonna hit the preview button down here. And um, at the top, just as a backup, I'm gonna hit that download button, so the little downward arrow. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. So it just saves my video to my camera roll. So if something were to happen to my Reels drafts, like if my Instagram app got deleted off my phone or something like that, I would be able to come back to it still and re up the video and finish my transition later so but the easiest way to do this is to leave it in your reels draft so you would hit next at the bottom and then go ahead and hit save as draft and where that's going to put it I'm gonna go ahead and go to my bio go to the reel section go to drafts and it's gonna be that last, last draft right there and so anytime you want to come back to a reel to finish it such as at finish your transition you would just navigate back to your reels draft so that's what i'm gonna do here again like i could close the app out i could close out instagram just i wouldn't delete it off your phone if you delete it off your phone usually you lose all your drafts so that's why we saved it though if we need to re-upload it um and again i have tutorials on how to um, create Instagram Reels. We'll put a link to my full Instagram Reels tutorial here, and it shows you how to upload like past videos and stuff like that. So I won't go into depth into depth on that in this video. But okay, so we're gonna pretend that it's a new day, and I'm just like coming back to my Instagram, coming to Reels. I'm hitting my drafts. And I'm gonna pull this draft back up. Okay, so now what do I do? I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys first to a new loca location, uh, just to show you how I can snap and like go to a new location. I'm gonna move you guys about here in front of my desk. So we're gonna make this like the next location. So we're gonna act like this is a completely different day. I'm then wanting to do this transition. So this would work, you know, if you are snapping and then you end up at the beach or something. This, would, this is the exact same way you would do it. So I got my real draft pulled up. I'm in my second location. So when I have the real draft pulled up, what you're gonna wanna do is hit edit in the top right corner. And then you're gonna hit the little camera icon in the top left-hand corner, okay? So when you do that, you come back to the filming page, which is amazing. So I'm gonna add my effect back, my favorite preset. And then I'm going to hit right below that little timer icon that we hit to set the timer. There's the align feature and it is incredible, let me tell you. So what this does is now that we're at a different location, see, you can see there's like an overlay of the last frame from the last, like the transition I was doing. And the great thing is, is I can get myself lined up about like as close as I can to where I was. I had my hand in my pocket and I'm gonna be a little closer. 
there we go. And so I can get myself almost exactly where I was before and snap again and make myself be in a new location. So we're gonna go ahead and set the timer like this. I'm just gonna do a few seconds just for the sake of this and make sure I'm where I wanna be. Okay, I'm gonna snap like this. And again, we're gonna, the way I like to do transitions, I'm gonna let it, once it starts playing, I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna snap so I have some wiggle room at the beginning to edit. So we're gonna go hit this. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that filmed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the downward arrow. So right by where you tapped like film, the real icon, there is an arrow that's pointing back with your footage. So if you tap that, you're able to trim your footage front and back. So the first one, we're gonna go ahead and tap on at the bottom. We're gonna tap the little scissor icon and we're gonna, at the very far right, there's like a little white bar. If you tap and drag that over, we're gonna drag that to right after I finish snapping. So like you don't wanna do it here, you haven't snapped yet. And then you don't wanna wait, like here's the snap happened. I don't wanna do it like here, two seconds after the snap happened because like a delayed reaction almost. So for the best transition, I'm gonna do snap, like right on the snap and then I'm gonna hit trim in the upper right hand corner. And then we're gonna tap on the second video down at the bottom. And I'm gonna hit the little scissor icon right here. And I'm going to, again, at the beginning of this, I'm gonna trim it to where the snap ended. So the idea is like right when the snap happens, the transition happens. So, and snap. I think I did my snap a little bit lower the second time. So if I wanted to make it perfect, I could redo it. Could also leave it. So let's just see what this looks like. I'm gonna hit done, and then we're gonna hit preview down at the bottom, and let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Awesome, okay, that actually turned out pretty good. If I wanted to make it perfect, I could go back and redo the second one here, so my snap's up higher, like closer to where I did it the first time, but I don't think it's bad at all. So from here, you would just hit next, and then continue with the process of actually, you know, writing your caption, all the cover photo stuff, settings, all of that. I actually have a free Reels cover photo template too, if you didn't know, so we'll link that down below as well if you want to grab that too. But I hope this was really helpful. If you guys want any more help on Instagram Reels, how to create Instagram Reels, all of that, again, I have a full Instagram Reels tutorial, and we'll link a few more of my favorite videos about Reels and how to create them down below if you are interested and want to know how to, um, yeah, basically all the different things there is to learn about creating reels. I would love to serve you in that way. If you're new around here, of course, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You probably hear that all the time, but it truly does help so much when you do those things. It helps to support my channel. It helps my channel to grow, and that's something that I am so grateful for, especially as YouTube becomes such a big part of my business and the way that I show up and serve you guys. So it really does mean so much to me and I am so grateful that you are here. If you have any other videos about reels I haven't covered on my channel, please drop a comment below and let me know if there's any specific reels you want me to make. A link is always really helpful. You can always DM it to me too over on Instagram if you want to come hang out there. If you haven't yet, you don't totally should because I we hang out there like every single day. But I, um, if you have any other questions, thoughts, ideas, any other kinds of reels you want to see me make, I get ideas like this from you guys. Like literally I've had multiple people ask me how to make a transition in like two different locations like this. So yeah, this is where it came from. So if you guys want to learn how to do anything else, let me know because I would love that and I would love to be here for you guys. And I feel like this is getting really long. So I will wrap it up with, again, thank you. I will see you guys in the next video on Tuesday or Thursday and I can't wait until then. Bye guys.